Hi, welcome to Yap San Diego Ancestral House. My name is Lloyd, one of the curators in this house. The island of Cebu is more popular historical places that we have. The background of this window is the Cologne Street, but sad to it, it was destroyed already by World War II. Now the heritage marker that we have it here in this country is the Heritage Monument. We have a lot of furniture here in this house that belong to the family. San Diego married with the Yap. Then now we call it the Yap San Diego Ancestral House, but according to the family, the house was built 1675. The surrounding of the house is the original structures that built during the time of the 17th century. These furniture does not belong to this house but belong to the different family of the San Diego. They put gathered here so that you will see the using and the making of Filipino people during back days. This one is a wood carving of the Filipino art. Now, as you can see, there are having a long chairs that use only three of these to identify that these are the three kids or the three siblings belong to this family. As you also see this one, it's having the statues of our Virgin Mary, and this one is called a Prince Chair. All of these nations or country are connected during the time, but sad to it, the radio was destroyed, no connections in other places. So you are seeing a lot of the furnitures and artifacts also with the lampshades that we have here, the lampara that we call it in Spanish. The floor here, we don't use nails here. With the tables, we have it at two posts. It means this is used for the wealthy family. Okay, as you can see, the roof here is original that we have it called a tisa. So you can see also these tables and chairs because normally Filipino people use always the bench. They use their hands to eat. This is our culture that we have. This is not used for daily, this is used occasionally. Now, Filipino also much more popular with the games because we have a lot of games in this country. We call it sungka. It's used only for playing games for the kids. These are the furnitures that also used to adopt it to the Chinese, but this one is called the Chinese table. But in America, they call it a lazy Susan when the center table is moving around. Now, Filipino also have to need to relax. Sometimes people or the head of the family used to sit down in this kind of chair and then lean it back and then put the legs up in here. If you don't want to spread it, you just cross this and then to relax and watching in the window that's used to relaxing. 
but originally this is called a deliver baby for women. Okay, this is the utensils of the family used back in the days. We call it this one is a flat iron. Original. We put charcoal here, heat here. This one is for the hot chocolate here to melt the tableya and you shake like this. And this one is the whisk. You hold here, hold this one, you pull up and pull down. And this is the whisk of the Filipino people. Wash the dishes, wooden sink. And we let it open this way because of the fresh air. This is the family of the San Diego. They have four kids right now. Okay, now this is the higher chair. It's a long table, higher chair used for a wealthy family. And the flower at the center of the table is used for a wedding couple. All the flowers that they are preserving here, it's more on shells because these shells is more popular in the country in the Philippines, especially here in Cebu. So this is the current room, the family sleep here. This is the current family, the 10th generation. He's the one who decided to let it open the house and putting all the artifacts. And you can see also the Barbies that they have for serving for the Sinulog Festival here in Cebu. As you can see, this lower part of the house is used for only for business. You can also see in the surrounding, there's our artifacts and the furniture, including the painting. These are collections of the family. These are the artifacts and the furniture was collected also for trading market back in the days. That's why we preserve this one, because this one is more popular for the Filipino. And this is a Chinese version of the image of the Holy Family because the Jesuits was, came here tried to convince the Chinese to become a Christian. Some of the Chinese was converted into Roman Catholic. And this one is during the time of the American that we call it the Batibot one. This hard one is Bakal. Okay, as you can see, all the artifacts and the statues, that these are collections of the family. Because we believe so much with the Christianity when the Magellan explorer come here in this island of Cebu was introduced of our popular images or the statues of Santo Nino. Okay, as you can see, this image of the Santo Nino that we have it, it's based on the wood that the dark colors represents for the culture of the Filipino. But the original image brought by Magellan here in Cebu is inside the Basilica Church. It's a brown color but a small icon. This is the garden of the, fa the family of the San Diego. Now we have a back painting. Trading market happened 
back in the days, the Chinese was came here to do trade with the native Filipino Raja Humabon or Raja Humabon. Always wearing gold, he used to do barter and trade with the Chinese. Chinese give it cell cloth, porcelain and jar, but the native Filipino give it gold, black pearl and white pearl to exchange it. That's why Cebu is much more popular by trading market when the Chinese was came here to do barter and trade. If you saw the chicken that we have here right now, this is our alarm clock popular in the Philippines because we don't have a watch back in the days. Well is also original. Okay, now Filipino is more popular with having palm. Palm is our national leaves. It's we call it the anahaw one. Now this is our statues that we have goddess back in the days. And that's the boat used for trading that we call it the Balangay one. And that's the glass balls call it buoy or boya that used for float from the sea that we have it here right now.